Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of Halal Mentries. And I'm feeling very lucky today. Very, very lucky. No, not because I'm in Oldham, because I'm at an establishment called Lucky's Diner. So Lucky's Diner, first and foremost, I'm probably gonna put a panning shot on the screen right now of how funky it is in here. I really like the look of this place. Lots of neon lights, lots of flower walls, a whole theme that regards black, I'd say black, purple and white. Lots of stars, like I said, I'm feeling lucky. And I've just looked at their menu and I must say, I'm extremely lucky because they do a wide range of food here. So I think I've ordered quite a few things. I've ordered a Portuguese chicken burger. Ooh, that sounds delicious, doesn't it? I've ordered a pink bun burger, which is a handmade six ounce smash burger. Ooh, we're loving our smash burgers, aren't we? We've ordered a steak too, and I've ordered it medium because I'm feeling a bit adventurous. So that should be really interesting. And of course, we had to get some lamb chops because who doesn't get lamb chops when they go out? So sit back, relax, it's gonna be a delicious episode of Halal Moon Cheese. And be sure to follow the Instagram and be sure to follow the TikTok because this will go up there as well. Let's go into the menu breakdown. So guys, a quick menu breakdown, quite a big, big menu, but they've given me a brief introduction. So they go, the grilled Portuguese is something you have to try. Pink brioche bun, I've never seen that before. I've seen every other color. I don't think I've seen pink so far. It definitely goes with a kind of purple theme they've got going on here. Uh, they've got challenges for you big boys out there. I think these are their star dishes, their chi grilled chicken and steak platters, just their uh, lamb chops, if you're feeding lamb chops, and they do a wide selection of desserts too. Look at this loaded chip pizza fries. That's interesting. I'll get a wide range as always, and then we'll get into the review. And guys, as you can see, we've got the drinks that have come right now. Story Mojito, Classic Mojito. This is a quick taste test live on camera. Oh, that's nice, lovely and refreshing. Oh, both are good. I'm gonna say, I wanna be a bit boring today. I wanna say the classic one takes the win for me. A bit more lemony and a bit more just clean, refreshing. Story ones for the story lovers. So actually all the food has come now. This is the rump steak. Now look at that, it's been sliced beautifully, honestly. The colors are charring on that, incredible. Got lots of chips, a lot of chips. You've got this sauce that comes with it too. Then you've got rice and you've got a lamb. Oh, lamb chops are the way to my heart. Can you see that steam piping hot? Lamb chops. And then as I mentioned, I went through these already. So this is the Route 66 burger with the turkey rashes and the Portuguese. Got some uh, mojitos too, so let's tuck in. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start off with uh, the Route 66 burger. I just thought to myself, yeah, I have had a pink burger before, I remember. Um, it's, I think they use like beetroot instead of any food coloring, but here we go, let's try this burger. It smells a lot smokier than um, other burgers because it's those beef turkey, beef turkey, turkey rashes. Here we go. Mm. Oh, those turkey, that grilled turkey bacon has a huge, huge smoky flavor to it. Like a big, big smoky fatty flavor. And they look quite fatty too. Look at that. They're just hanging off there. Let me take one more bite. I want to taste the beef burger. It's a good beef burger. I'm always gonna be, I'm always gonna be on the kind of like side of smash burgers than than a rather rather than like a gourmet beef burger, but that is a good one. It's seasoned well, so it's not like a bland burger. But yeah, and just like that, we have the next burger. This is the Portuguese uh, grilled Portuguese burger. So again, you know Portuguese that piri piri flavor. Let's get in for let's go in for bite. Right, here we go. That side's calling me. Here we go. Ooh, way too much mayo for me. Don't even see that. Lots of mayo. But it's juicy. It's flavoured really well. It's got a bit of a smoky flavour. I love the sauce. Mm. I love the peri peri kind of Portuguese sauce. The onions, the lettuce, the brioche bun, all from like a texture perspective, works really well. You get a bit of crunch. That is a delicious burger also. So far, two out of two. I think now we need like a drinks break. I think we might have to go for like, I already drank these, haven't I? The classic mocktail and the strawberry mocktail. Oh yeah, they're both good. I think now I'm swinging more towards the strawberry. Guys, it is time to attack 
the lamb chops. Oh, look at these, man. Let me get a zoom up on these because I know you want to zoom up on them. Oh, 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 look at them. Yeah, man, they're going to go straight in my belly. But here we go. <laughs> All I'm going to say is those are incredibly soft, really, really soft. As you can see, that's my bite mark right there. It went straight through. There's no pull. There's no toughness. That sauce is quite spicy too. A really nice kick. That right there, I'm being honest with you, that right there, that is a munch. Woo! When you come to Lucky's in Odom, most definitely get those lamb chops. Really, really nice. And I love the smoky charring flavor too, because it's been grilled. That is a munch. Well done, Smokies. The rice. Mmm. Oh. Oh my god. The flavor on that rice. Really good. It's like it's like homemade rice. I can't believe I'm doing this. That rice that comes on the grilled lamb chop platter, that is a munch too. Wow, incredible! So much, like a little bit lemony, really really fluffy. It's quite aromatic. Oh, that was a munch. No, no, that is a munch. And they also give you this kind of sauce. I think it's like a peppercorn sauce or a mushroom sauce. I think this one's a peppercorn. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a gravy. It must be a gravy. Now. Before we get onto the steak, I'm gonna get the steak, cut chips, I'm gonna dip them in, uh, as you can see, the sauce just now. Oh, it's the same gravy. Delicious, really nice. The chips are a little bit bland in my opinion, but okay, apart from that, it's a really nice munch. So guys, can you see that? That's the steak right now. We are gonna enjoy this rump steak. It is, oh, I've got really nice charring on it too, very old. I should be using a fork, but no, forget it. Wow, a bit like butter. And that's not me exaggerating, really much. Really soft, really juicy. No, really juicy. Really, really juicy. Let's dip into the gravy, see if that makes any difference. Oh yes, it does. Guys, I have never had a steak that juicy that's been sitting there for 15 minutes whilst I do my pictures. Incredibly juicy. You know what? I'm in a generous mood. You know what we're gonna drop? That rump steak. That is a munch. Woo! Dropped it like it's hot. That is a munch. Luckies, you are smashing it right now. Honestly, really, really delicious. So guys, I just moved a bit of my location. Yeah, I went from that table to this table right now because I wanted to get the lucky sign in. Yeah. Honestly, a really, really pleasant experience here at Lucky's. Really good, honestly. I thought the lamb chops were phenomenal. I thought the rice that came with it, really good. Homemade rice. And that's the kind of food you want when you go out. You understand? You want food that reminds you of home. That was so delicious. And that steak, that rump steak was delicious. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know. Because when I thought of this place, I don't know what kind of food they sell. Uh, it was pretty much everything and anything. Um, but I can definitely see why the broth has highlighted a few dishes for me exactly that lamb chops and those steaks and yeah man really happy look at the smile on my face right now so yeah guys that's my overall view for Lucky's I'm, like I said I'm, I'm a trough lad uh, if you want to see the next one make sure you subscribe make sure you click on that bell icon so you're notified when the next upload is and as always follow the Instagram follow the TikTok and follow all the social medias and I'll catch you guys in the next video